Hope you're doing good. Mike, get back with another video. Back here to talk about what's on my Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus in the month of April 2024. And it's really a new layout change. And as you guys saw in my iPhone 15 Pro video last or yesterday, you will see that I use a specific widget app to customize my experience. And so one of the things we're going to do is really, again, as we usually do, start on the outside and work our way in by showing you how I have my s24 plus set up so if you guys into this video if you guys haven't already make sure to knock the like button subscribe to the channel don't notification bell it's all free that way in some videos so you and i can sit back just actually was cracking now let's get into the video and as i said let's go ahead and hit the lock screen this is my lock screen i have changed this from what i was using before now what i do is so as you guys can see i use a wallpaper switcher but it is samsung stock wallpaper switcher and in order to access that you go ahead and just well there's actually two ways you can do it so if you want to do it from the outside then what you would do is press and hold wait for it to come up need biometrics now you're here and so what you want to do is click on wallpapers and for me i use my gallery wallpapers and if you choose gallery you're able to choose from up to 15. Now, I don't know if it says that up here yet. It does not. But let's say I select a few, as you guys can see up there, I can choose up to 15 wallpapers. And so I use my own uh, wallpapers that I have in here uh, that I've migrated over from several different places, primarily AR7 on Twitter. That's my primary wallpaper guy. So the dude's amazing. I, he may even do wallpapers for Apple themselves. But his name is AR7 on Twitter or X, Instagram, Threads, you name it. That's his handle. Check him out. And he also sells wallpaper packs as well. I don't know if they're like anywhere between, I don't know, 3 and like maybe $15. Maybe that high. I don't think it's that high. But you can get a ton of uh, exclusive wallpapers from him as well. So I thought I'd highlight him because he does a great job with these wallpapers. And so that's the wallpaper I'm using for my 15 wallpapers on my S24 Plus and that you've seen on my iPhone as well. I'm using the stock, uh, oh well, right, yeah, the one that you, no, it's not the one that you uh, originally received. It's uh, the fourth one in. So I'm using the fourth font style for my clock. I'm also, I decided to turn on my show weather information. So instead of having a weather widget, I'm using the weather within the clock widget. But I do use like the precipitation widget right there. And then I use the date or the, uh, not the date, but the, <laughs> the battery widget. And one more, but it's hard to see. Yes, the date or the date calendar widget right there in the middle, which lets me know what's going on today or the next upcoming event. And so that's how I have this set up. And then if I swipe this down, you'll see I have my camera on the left and my flashlight on the right. So if I back back and I go ahead and enter the device, this is what we have going on for the home page. And if I swipe over to the left, I'm using Google's discovery feed instead of samsung's discovery feed or samsung news i like that they added that though and this is a nice little bit different but i like the more personalized results from google and then if i highlight my third page i use apple music on my android yes i do and then i have google news right here i have my device care widget right here and pocket cast which i don't really listen to because i use apple podcast now and then i have my battery widget there so if i have multiple devices connected it will let me know and display battery percentages there and then i have three folders one that's primarily for financial apps or billing slash money apps spending apps right there so paypal venmo samsung wallet progressive insurance t live t mobile uh, adidas patreon amazon and target and then my media streaming apps such as prime video disney plus hulu paramount plus max netflix redbox adam tickets and pixart which is what i use to create my thumbnails with and then i have an automatic uh, button via the hue app phillips hue app to turn all my lights off in my place of living <laughs> so that way i don't have to individually try to turn them off now the main event right here on the front page here is this beautiful wall paper which is generated through samsung's ai generative app and as you guys can see the icon is right there at the bottom if you want to access it pinch in and then go to wallpaper and styles choose wallpapers and it's going to be in creative right here and then it's generative so if i click on generative 
I'm using the painting. So if I want to come in here, I go to painting. I can change all of this. So let's say I want to change the jungle to something else. Let's say I want to change it to a meadow. How about a meadow? Nothing else. I mean, if I want to, I can put stuff out there in the meadow, right? Uh, we could do. We can do balloons. Oh, hot air balloons. Why not? That sounds kind of fun. You got a boom box, right? I think I've showed you guys the wallpaper with a boom box before. You got a T-Rex. Wow, you got space. So you got different options you can choose from. Paper airplane. Hey, why not paper airplanes? Instead of avant-garde style, uh, um, avant-garde. Uh, let's try, let's come down here. Let's do pop art. I think I'm using pop art right now for my jungle, but let's see what it generates. And upon generating the wallpaper, you will see that you get a few options. And, ooh, I like that. Okay, okay. That's clean too. So I wish you could keep all these options because sometimes it just give you like really nice options right out the gate. And as much as I like this one, I like this one as well. So I might go with this one and then I would hit click on it to set. And I would just set it to my home screen. So once I hit next, that's what I have going on for my home screen. Add a little bit more busyness to it since my my widget is so uh, spread. It kind of adds an additional flavor to the wallpaper and my home page in general. So that's what you have. The star of the show, though, is a KWGT widget. And that is what I'm using on Android. It's like the classic widget app custom customizable widget app for android users to customize your experience especially if you don't want to download like third-party launchers and whatnot and you just want to change and get a few different widgets and of course you use widgets for multiple different things but i primarily use it for time and weather but this one just happened to have a nice google reference so if i click into it these this is what i got going on here and here's your overlap your overlap group or all your overlap groups really in each of these which is what i like about this widget in particular this creator bundled each section into its own group so that first section is the time group the second one is for the weather down here and then the third one the circle is for the google and so you have control over all of these so let's say i want to click on the time one first Let's click on the time one, and if I wanted to, I can, you know, uh, adjust each one in particular. So the rectangle will be that blue shape there, and then the second one will be for everything within it, basically. And if I wanted to still do nuance and adjust the time or the clock, and I wanted to make those smaller or bigger, all I would have to do is click on that group there and either go to each one or just go to that, and then let's say I... Let's say, I got to back it out so you guys can see. Let's say I wanted to scale it. It got bigger. The time got bigger. So I wouldn't necessarily need to go that big, but maybe I wanted to go a little bigger. Let's say we wanted to go to 50. So the granular control you have over this app is amazing because you get to customize it exactly how you want to. And let's say you didn't want this or maybe you wanted to keep it. I would export it. And then I would hit export down at the bottom. So it's basically kind of like saved within itself. So you could always come back and check it out if you changed out of it. But let's say I wanted to keep this format. This was it like a four by four or whatever. And I go ahead and hit load. What will happen is I can choose from a bunch of different widgets in here. And so these are all the widgets that are available that I have downloaded or that you can find in the app. So this one is Feast 119. The one that we're currently using is Feast 119. This is the one I had before. I believe this is the one in my April Fool, um, April Fools, my April Security Patch update video. This is Andromeda KWGT, and this will be AK054. And so I like that they are very descriptive with what they have to offer for their widgets and so for those reasons this is i, I use kwgt and now you will probably also need to download the kwgt pro key which you have to pay for so you have a more kind of control over the widget and so that makes sense i mean a lot of widget apps you know they put a lot of time and effort into creating these for us to use and for the granular control that you can have over your devices with the with their widget apps and so to pay a small one-time fee i think is more than more than 
reasonable for the features that you will be receiving. And so if I want to show you guys that real quick, maybe we'll swipe out of this. We'll go to Play Store, come up here, and you probably will see, I had to look for it. So you have KWGT Pro Key and the KWGT Custom Widget Maker. These two go hand in hand. You download this and it may ask you to do this or you can just search for both and then take care of them and you'll be good to go with your KWGT. And that's what I have going on here on mine is the KWGT widget. And this is from Feast. And this is what I use to more or less complete my look for my Galaxy S24 Ultra along with the rest of my apps down here. I have the camera app over here, all my social media apps, my two main financial apps, budget and cash app, and my Play Store, my JW Library app down at the bottom, Google Messages, which is interesting. Say, uh, just quick note, my Google Messages, maybe it is doing RCS, but I'm not 100% certain because whenever I've been texting people, it has not uh, shown the RCS you know, style RCS level of indication dots and, 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 and indicators and sending this down the third. It hasn't really been doing that for me. So I, I don't know what's going on with my Google messages. And I don't know if I need to uninstall it or reinstall it or something. But I've definitely been noticing that with my Google messages is that even though I have RCS, RCS connected. So let me make sure I ain't got nobody's uh, phone numbers not hidden in here. But like, let's say I go to me and then I go to messages and then so as you guys can see I have my RCS turned on right there connected that's my phone number so I'm hiding it but and all this stuff is on the red receipts the type of indicators all that I also don't have uh, the uh, SMS turned on or automatically send via SMS so that's why it's interesting that when I send messages it, sh it sends as an SMS as opposed to RCS. Just want to throw that out there. I don't know if anybody else has been seeing that or noticing that with their Google Messages app. But I thought I'd put that out there. Maybe that somebody has a solution for that. Let me know down in the comment section below. And as well, let me know how you guys have been faring with your devices. Do you do heavy customization on your devices? Do you use custom widget apps or do you just kind of keep it simple with what the OEM provides to you? The comment section is open for discussion. But again, as always, you guys haven't already, make sure to like, like button, subscribe to the channel, the notification bell. It's all free that way it's our video so you and I can sit back and see who's cracking. Dread Micah signing out until the next video. Wait for it.